When it comes to a name that says it all, Little Free Library does just that. It's a worldwide effort putting free books in front yards. A Lake Oswego School is the latest Oregon location. News Channel 8's Kathy Marshall visited with the kids today as they put the finishing touches on their project. Kathy? Steph, um, excuse me, these small <laughs> boxes with the free books started showing up in yards and on neighborhood corners. About three years ago, there are now more than 2,000 around the world. They're getting kids and even adults to read and share their favorite books. Um, this is this is a little library. Dexter proudly paints the wooden box built by his grandfather with his favorite color. I'm blue. The box will go in the ground in front of Oswego Play School, creating a tiny neighborhood library. Got a little latch. My, how many books are going to be in here? How many do you think should be in there? How about four? Four dozen may be more like it. Readers can borrow a book or take one and replace it with a new one. I think it's kind of up to the user. It can be a lending library, or I'm sure that new books will get cycled through as the books that are in there get read. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Little free libraries for adults are on at least two Lake Oswego streets, this one in Old Town near George Rogers Park. It turns over, the books come and go. And another in the Rivendell neighborhood. They're just a few of the thousands created by a nonprofit working to promote reading. But we want them to be able to reach in without having to struggle with the door. A website guided the school through the process of creating the library and offered a template for identifying books to discourage theft. If a book goes missing, well, we just hope that the new owner enjoys it as much as the last one did. Once it's ready for readers, the Oswego Play School will donate $35 so its location will appear on a map of libraries across the country. Right now, there are more than 30 listed for Oregon and more than 40 in the state of Washington. I'm done. With Dexter done, the newest Little Free Library will be open by next month. There's not a kid that doesn't love to read a book, and this is a way to take that one step further where not only can they share their books, but hopefully it will encourage them to share the act of reading. The end. <laughs> the Oswego Play School created their library to celebrate its 60th birthday. Others were created by neighborhood groups trying to build a sense of community, and still others have been put up by families just wanting to share their used books. Steph and Reggie will have a link on our website, kgw.com, for more information on how you can set up your own little free library. It's such a great story, but I, I think it. we need to get you some hot tea or something, you poor thing with your voice. Thanks I'm for doing headed the story. that way. I'm okay. headed in your same direction. <laughs> I know. I'm the only one.